Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use advanced kits. This plugin allows you to create kits for your server. It has features like pair life kits, signs, cooldowns, economy and permission integration, as well as other integrations like form API. This plugin is for the Bedrock version, however, please ensure that you're running the PocketMind server type. Head over to the link in the description, which will open up this page. This is where you'll download the plugin from. Right click the direct download button and select copy link address. Because this is a direct download, you can download it straight to your panel. Find your way into the plugins folder on the panel, press the upload file button, and then here under the upload from web, Paste the link you just copied and press the upload button. The plugin should automatically download for you. Now restart your server and you're ready to go. Before we get into creating kits, I'm going to go over the config quickly. Locate it in the plugin data folder. The top two settings here change whether you want the kits to be once per life and if logging out resets this. This option here forces the built-in permissions, which we will be going over in a bit. This here is what you'll need to put on the top of the line if you want to create a sign for kits. And the last option will hide kits from players who don't have permissions for them. Now let's actually create a kit. We have some default kits here. I'm just going to copy this whole bit here and paste it to make another one. Then I'm going to change it around a bit, like the top part here. This will be the name of the kit. Then we have the items. These will be added to the first available slot in your inventory. If you want to have specific items in specific slots, the option is slightly below. It's the slots option here. Follow the format which is in the comments. I'm going to give myself some bread instead of this apple. And here I'm going to change all the armor into iron armor, as well as some other changes. For the slots, I'm not going to have anything since I don't need anything in specific slots. So I'm just gonna remove that option. Please note that the slots start with zero, which is the first hotbar slot and they increase going to the left. But if you do want to use specific slots, I'll show you a quick diagram on the slot numbers. Then if you wanna have specific commands executed upon getting a kit, you can change this option here. I'm going to leave it as it is. If you want a kit to have a cooldown, ensure you add it here. If you don't want it, just remove this option. Then the effects that you want, ensure you format it correctly. I'm going to change it to health boost here. Of course, if you don't want any effects, remove this option. Next, we have the money option. If you want players to pay money for the kit, add this option here. If you don't have any economy plugin, just remove this option. The users and worlds options here are built-in permissions. So whichever world you add in this list here will be where you can get the kits. And whatever users you add here in this list will be whoever can get this kit. If you have a permissions plugin like Pure Perms, you can ignore these options and add your own permissions in there. Of course, you can always have a kit available to everyone just by removing these options, which I'm going to do. This only works if you don't have any permission plugin. And here below are some form API options. I'm going to remove them since I don't have that plugin. And that's about it for creating your own kits. The last thing I wanna mention is that you can change all the messages from this plugin in the lang.properties file. Once you're done creating your kits, restart your server and go into game. When you're in game, type in slash kit to get a list of kits which are available. Then type in slash kit and then the kit name to get that specific kit. It's really that simple. Of course, if you don't have a certain requirement for a kit, you won't get it. I'm going to create some signs to get the kit. You can create a sign just by typing advanced kits just like that on the top line. And then on the second line, type in the kit name. Then just right click the sign and you'll get that specific kit. And as you can see, I got the SG kit, which was preset in the config. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.